What is deep vein thrombosis? The development of a blood clot in the deep veins of the legs, pelvis, or upper extremities. The nurse admits a patient with deep vein thrombosis. What diagnostic tests does the nurse expect will be ordered? Duplex ultrasound. What is peripheral artery disease? Peripheral artery disease is a condition where the arteries in the legs are narrowed, and this causes mild to severe pain. What are physical findings in a patient with peripheral artery disease? Hairless legs, dry skin, and cool to touch. What is the next step in management of a patient with a 6.8 centimeter abdominal aortic aneurysm, sudden severe back pain, and tachycardia? Prepare the patient for emergency surgery. What is Raynaud's disease? A condition that causes the fingers and toes to feel numb and cold in cold temperatures. What is claudication? Pain in the legs or arms that occurs while walking in patients with peripheral artery disease. Why is ankle brachial index an important test ordered in patients with peripheral artery disease? Ankle brachial index is the difference in the blood pressure in the arm and the leg. It is an indicator of the severity of peripheral artery disease. What should patients with peripheral artery disease avoid? Smoking, cold temperatures, and tight clothing. Does walking help to improve claudication? Yes, walking is the recommended treatment for claudication. What is the treatment for claudication? Exercise or walking, angioplasty, and vascular surgery. What are medications used in the treatment of claudication? Aspirin, Solostazole, and Clopidogrel. What is an example of adult dosing for Clopidogrel or Plavix? 75 milligrams once a day. What is the primary treatment of Raynaud's disease? Treatment usually includes avoiding severe cold conditions and dressing in warmer clothing when exposed to lower temperatures. What is the primary treatment of deep vein thrombosis? Anticoagulation with an oral medication, such as rivaroxaban or noxaparin and warfarin. The nurse is assessing a 43-year-old patient admitted with a femur fracture who suddenly developed shortness of breath and chest discomfort. What should the nurse suspect is the diagnosis in this patient? Pulmonary embolism. What should the nurse assess as a priority in a patient with deep vein thrombrosis and sudden shortness of breath and tachycardia? Pulmonary embolism, because patients with deep vein thrombosis are at high risk for pulmonary embolism. What is the primary risk in a patient receiving TPA or alteplase? bleeding. In a patient who has recently undergone surgery for a colectomy, what should the nurse do to prevent deep vein thrombosis? Use pneumatic compression stockings and encourage ambulation. Where should you assess the pulse in a patient who has had a femoral popliteal bypass? On the foot, the dorsalis pulse. What is the treatment for peripheral artery disease? Control lipids, high blood pressure, and exercise. The nurse is admitting a patient diagnosed with pulmonary embolism. What test does the nurse expect to be ordered on the patient's chart? What is the importance of anti-seizure therapy in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? Seizures can complicate traumatic brain injury and increase intracranial pressure. What is the lowest total score that a patient can receive for the Glasgow Coma Scale? Three, calculated by adding the lowest score for each parameter. The nurse admits a patient with a history of generalized tonic-clonic seizures. What would the nurse expect to observe during the ictal phase in this patient? 
involuntary muscle contractions, muscle stiffening, and loss of consciousness. The nurse is taking care of a patient who is in the post-ictal phase. What is the nursing priority in the assessment? Assessment of the patient's breathing, respiratory pattern, and ensuring the airway is open. A patient has suffered an ischemic stroke two and a half hours ago. What medication does the nurse expect that the patient will be evaluated for because the symptoms started less than three hours ago? TPA or Alteplase, a thrombolytic drug. What is the primary adverse effect in patients who receive TPA or Alteplase, a thrombolytic drug? Bleeding. What is the risk of lowering a patient's blood pressure who has had an ischemic stroke? Lowering the blood pressure too much or too rapidly interferes with the body's protective mechanism to provide cerebral perfusion. What is protamine sulfate? It is the anecdote for heparin. The nurse is admitting a stroke patient with dysphagia. What types of liquids are less likely to be aspirated? Liquids should be thickened. Patients may benefit from a swallowing study to determine how to proceed safely. What is this a picture of? The ictal phase. This 41-year-old male complains of nightmares, sweating, nausea, and nervousness in crowds. What is your assessment? Post-traumatic stress disorder. What is the most appropriate recommendation that should be given to a patient that is the victim of spousal abuse? Provide the names of shelters and resources to ensure the victim's safety. The nursing student asks the nurse care practitioner about prescribing for a patient with depression who also has insomnia. What does the NCP prescribe? Trazodone. The nurse is caring for a patient with bipolar disorder who is being treated with lithium. What is the appropriate therapeutic lithium blood level? 0 0.6 to 1.2 milliequivalents per liter. What sign should the nurse expect from a parent whose child recently died of SIDS 48 hours ago? Guilt. The patient tells the nurse he was prescribed a drug to treat depression that blocks the reuptake of serotonin in the brain. What drugs does the nurse expect the record to show? Citalopram, Flexitrine, Sertraline. What is your assessment? The answer is bipolar disorder. What is your assessment? The answer is schizophrenia. Where should the nurse auscultate the lungs to detect crackles or rails? At the base of the lungs. What are early signs of hypoxia? Restlessness and irritability. How should the nurse instruct the patient to use a nasal inhaler? Shake the inhaler before use, insert the tip in the nostril, close off one nostril while inhaling the spray. What is this a picture of? A normal chest x-ray. What are the beneficial therapeutic effects of antihistamines in a patient with seasonal allergies? Anticholinergic effects, such as reducing running nose, red irritated eyes, and itching. What are the signs of laryngeal cancer? Persistent cough, hoarseness, earache, difficulty or painful swallowing. What are important guidelines when using wrist restraints? Check the circulation every hour and evaluate the need for restraints. Secure restraints to the bed frame rather than the side rails. What are predisposing risk factors for pneumonia? Smoking, immunosuppression, age, and poor nutritional status. What are the best ways to prevent atelectasis? Encourage patients to turn, cough, 
deep breathe, and perform incentive spirometry. What is the most accurate way to determine adequate oxygen therapy? Arterial blood gas, or ABG. What are the signs of choking in a toddler? Cyanosis, inability to speak, and collapse. A prescription for what class of antibiotics will be questioned in a child with a previous allergic reaction to a cephalosporin antibiotic? Penicillin. What type of food should be avoided in toddlers? Hard, round candy and popped popcorn because of the risk of aspiration when it is not chewed well. What is croup? An upper respiratory tract infection occurring in children that is most commonly caused by a virus. What is the most common treatment for otitis media? Antibiotics. What condition is digoxin used to treat? Heart failure, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter. Name two common antilipemic drugs. Atorvastatin, simvastatin, niacin. Why are alpha blockers considered a cardiovascular drug? They are used to treat hypertension by preventing the stimulation of the adrenergic receptors. Why are angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors considered a cardiovascular drug? They are used to treat hypertension by reducing the level of angiotensin II in the body. Why are angiotensin receptor blockers considered a cardiovascular drug? They are used to treat hypertension by inhibiting the function of angiotensin II by blocking the specific receptor. How do beta blockers produce their therapeutic effect? They are used to treat hypertension by blocking the adrenergic receptors. What is this a picture of? Peak flow rate. What part of the respiratory tract does croup affect? Trachea or windpipe, bronchi, and the larynx or voice box. Thank you very much for watching this video and learning with QBank Pro Academy.